uh, Cameron Drummond with the Lexington Herald Leader. Uh, Talon, uh, obviously you, you've been around college basketball a, a long time, Moorhead to, to Minnesota to here. Uh, just where do you think you've grown the most as a player from when you first started playing college basketball to now, and, and how has that helped you and your team this season? Uh, I would say just become more of a leader. Uh, coming in as a freshman, I had a great group of guys around me, and from there I just developed as the point guard, turned into the point guard role, which just helped me lead, lead these guys and keep them calm and poised and throughout the game. So just being a leader throughout, the, throughout my career. Question up front. Uh, Alan Cole with GameCockScoop.com on Rivals. Michi, you've talked a lot the last two years about this was the, always the goal. This is why you came to South Carolina. I know you've been here half a day. You haven't played a game yet, but what has this tournament experience been like so far just since you've been here? It has been a blessing uh, to be here with these guys. Um, we've been working, put a lot of work in. Um, we believe we could be in this moment. Um, and since being here, we've just been having a lot of fun, um, buying and watching film, going to dinner, um, enjoying every bit of moment we can, um, making the memories. Question up front. Mike, you have a Gamecock Central. For either of you guys, I mean, being able to believe in Lamont, I mean, Meech, we've talked about it before, transferring in, what was it about Lamont when you guys had an opportunity going through the recruiting process that said, hey, you know what, I believe in his vision to be able to get South Carolina in the position that you guys are in this week? Um, it's just been honesty that he had, had with us up front, just telling us what he sees for the team and then what our personal goals that lined up. So just throughout this whole year, it's just been a perfect match for all of us. And we've just been putting in the work since. Question up front, to the right. <clears throat> uh, Alex Jones with TheBigSpur.com and 24-7 Sports. Uh, for Michi and Talon, you guys have experienced the NCAA tournament before. How have y'all helping the guys on the rest of the team kind of know what to expect tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, when I came, it was during COVID, so I didn't get the full experience. But just to tell them this, to embrace the moment. I mean, it's a, we're on a big stage, you know, play, going to play in front of a good, good group of crowd. So just embrace the moment and just go out there and have fun and play basketball. Jordan K with the state. over For BJ, what do you see from Infali Dante on Oregon? Um, and, and kind of what's the, the game plan of stopping him or containing him? Um, yes, uh, Dante's a great player. Um, he's one of the leading scorers for their team, for Oregon, their best rebounder. Um, he tries a lot to get a great post position, get to his right hand for the hook. Um, so just pretty much not allowing him to get easy catches um, and just trying to push him out, trying to get offensive rebounds. Uh, we know they feed off of that and try to get out of transition. So he's a big key factor in that. Questions for our student athletes? Back there in the middle. Talon, you mentioned a, a second ago about you know the first time you came to the tournament, you didn't really get to experience a lot of the things that are happening now because of COVID. Uh, is there anything in particular that that struck you about this experience so far, or something that you're still looking forward to that maybe you didn't get a few years ago? Uh, yeah, just the crowd. I mean, being able to play in front of a big group of crowd, I mean, just getting your blood going. So that's what I'm most excited about. Question. Derek Scott, Gamecock Sports Network. Michi, when you uh, found out you get to come this close to home and play, obviously you guys were excited just to make the tournament to be a part of this. But when you found out it's going to be Pittsburgh, as close to Cleveland as you could be, uh, what went through your mind? And what has it been like in terms of uh, uh, the family and the friends who are, I'm sure, wanting to be a part of this for you? It felt good. Like I said before, I kind of already knew it. Like I knew it was going to happen. I knew God was going to make all this plan how I wanted to. Um, and got a lot of family and friends coming down to support. Haven't got to play in, them, uh, in front of them since high school. So just being able to see all of them come to the game um, is going to be a blessing. Um, and I got, group, got a good group of guys around me that's going to be there uh, working hard throughout the whole game, uh, trying to win. So it's exciting. Question up front. <clears throat> uh, for me, Gene Talon, obviously a lot of focus on Jermaine Kuznar being a former Gamecock. What is what do you see on film from him, and is there maybe a guard you face in the SEC this year that's kind of similar to how he plays? Meet you want to go first. I mean, yeah, he's a good player. Uh, you know, still watching a lot of tape on him. But obviously, he's a good player. Player before, um, don't know too much about him, but uh, you know, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Talon. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, he's a good uh, downhill driver. Could shoot the three ball, look good. Uh, but I couldn't compare him to anybody in SEC, but he just plays his own game and gets to his spots. Jordan K from the state. Um, when Lamont talks, he seems to have such a passion for basketball. But what what is there something about Lamont we outside of basketball we don't know about him? Something you guys have grown to love about him over the last couple months? BJ, you want to start? <laughs> um, nah, Coach Perry, he's a, a big jokester. That's what you know. We call him the people jo uh, people's coach because you know. He relates a lot to a lot of people. So just him having that um, capability to relate to a lot of people and show a different side that you don't really see for, probably from a lot of coaches just shows the great person that he is. Go on. Uh, you know, BJ took everything that I was going to say. But <laughs> uh, I don't know. Coach Bear is just a great guy in general. I mean, he's just a great guy to be around, great guy to talk to. Uh, it's not much to say really about him. <laughs> he's just a good guy at the end of the day. You got anything to add, BG? Yeah, I think he's just a, a great coach and just off the court, just a regular guy. You know, you see him walking in with his Taco Bell bag, <laughs> Starbucks, coffee in the morning. Uh, but he just watches film all day. Basketball is what he loves. Um, and he studies it. You know, I call him like a doctor every game. Um, he really knows the game. He makes it simple for you. So all around, just a great guy. Question on the front. Michi, for you, when we talk about being able to buy into a system, especially the system that's so much different than maybe what other programs run across the country, what do you think allowed this team this year to be able to buy in so quickly to what Lamont is trying to do when maybe other players wouldn't want to play in the system? Yeah, I mean, Lamont, he allows you to uh, play your game. Um, and with that, you know, when you have great guys and you build a great team, which, you know, the coaching staff did this year, you know, we just play for each other. That's all it's about. We said before, and you've seen all year, it's been different guys' nights, uh, 25 for this guy, 25 for that guy. And, you know, next day it's somebody different, and we're all happy at the end of the day because we're winning, and now we're in this position. So um, it's just about buying into winning. You know, if that's the main goal, then everybody eats at the end of the day. Question right middle. Uh, Justin Guerrero with the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. BJ, you guys obviously have a lot of uh, a lot of older talent on this team, but Colin's a guy who's certainly come in and made a pretty big flat splash as a freshman. Just what has it been like for you just watching him uh, develop just as a college player in a practice setting throughout the course of the season, and what does he bring to your team? Uh, Colin's been bringing in a, a lot of great energy. Um, you've seen the work that he's been, been, been able to put in since coming back. Uh, earlier in the season, so just the work that he's put in just to be able to get back, coming in, do a two days to get back right, to try to catch up to speed with us. So it's just been a blessing just to see that, you know, you don't really see a lot of freshmen coming in, making a big impact like that, like he has so far. So we're just ha happy to have him, happy to, for him to be healthy and be able to get on the run that he's doing. Question right there. Hey, BJ, John Huang, NOLA Media. You guys play in arguably the best conference in America. Can you talk just a little bit about the physicality of, of the conference and how that's helped you guys develop your games? Uh, yes, um, SEC is probably the phys most physical conference. So playing against guys that are seven foot, seven five, that we played against twice this year. So just having that, uh, the goal against and then going into a, a tournament type of play, um, you got you kind of get a little bit of an advantage seeing how the refs are going to call things, you know, playing in different uh, cities and across the country. It might be different. Some uh, some places you might play might be more physical, others might not. So we kind of had a good balance of that playing out west where they play kind of a more finesse style, and then playing in the SEC where it's more physical and, and brutal. So just I just feel like that's a good balance between it. Question left front. Jordan K. Um, Oregon, for like the first couple months of the season, seems like a very different team than they what, what they were in the Pac-12 tournament. How do you guys balance watching film of what they did throughout the body of work of the season, and or do you just kind of focus on what they did the most recent games? Michi, you want to start and work your way down? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Um, obviously, you want to be playing your best basketball right now. Um, so we're honestly looking at that, seeing what they're doing, a great team got great pieces, but we have obviously grown too. Um, and they got to see us tomorrow too. So 
Um, it's just a matchup. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matchup. It's March Madness. It should be fun. Um, and you go from there. Delon? Yeah. Um, like, we watched film on their recently, like their recent games, and, you know, they're playing some really good basketball right now. Uh, but also, they haven't faced our defense, so we'll put that to test t tomorrow. BJ? Um, yeah, it's kind of looking back at their games earlier. Uh, you got to see a lot of like how they're grown and how the pace of play that they played at from earlier, but now, but they're playing great basketball right now, so you really want to focus in on really how they're playing right now. Any more questions for our student athletes? All right, thank you.